He was born on the numbers 12 and 12. He grew tall as he fought crime. Shot eight times, stepped seven times more. Reverse the numbers and you'll find. It was seven long years and eight days later since Buford lost his wife. It was on the 12th of August they took Pauline's life. Let's sing about Buford Husser. Twelve letters spell his name. His fate was sealed in the number twelve that would stalk him to his fame. Take the numbers twelve, seven, and eight, and the number sixty-four. Look back at Buford's pattern, and the twelve will come up more. Buford pinned on the badge in '64 when the county was raised. He was six foot six, and that makes twelve. Three times twelve was his age. Thirty-six is mighty young for a man so tall to fall. He's the number one legend in our time. He's remembered by us all. When the numbers on the wheel of life come up the same each year, we never know which number is ours, or we live our lives in fear. The hands on the clock were fixed on twelve on that fatal night in August. Buford's final number came around, and he died in the Tennessee dust. 